So today is the day the Masters should be starting, but the coronavirus took it away from us. How dare you? But we're here to do a society event in place of the Masters. We're going to do all four rounds, but today we're just going to be doing the Thursday round, obviously. Uh, the society event for the Par 3 contest went well. 350 people, I think, played in it. And Big Wood, Phil, Ian Miller, Zaz, and Mr. Omaha all tied at 8 under. I said that I thought someone was going to get 9 under, but no one ended up going 9 for 9. So, interesting stuff. I wonder if any of those 8 unders got a hold of 1. We, we went 3 under and we came in a tie for 68th. My goal for the, for the Masters now, for the Masters, the full Masters event here over the four rounds, is to come in the top 25. Now, I'm shooting big here because... People on this game are ridiculously good, but I feel like I can do it if I play really well. The greens are really difficult. Firethorn National, uh, let's jump into it. McCluskey is three under through three in the Masters. Good Lord. Uh, so there's 11 people playing at the moment. Uh, it just started about an hour, hour and a half ago, the event. If you want to play it, join the Apex Hounds Club on the Golf Cup 2019 on PS4. If you're not on PS4, then you can't join, I'm sorry to say. But you can always check out Firethorn National and see if you can beat my score or beat uh, some of the society's scores. And let's jump in. Let's do this thing. I'm excited. This is obviously Augusta, but it's just called Firethorn National. And um, I'm excited to do all four rounds. If you want to see me do all four rounds, you know what to do. Drop a like. I'm going to shoot big with the like goal for this video. If we could hit 300 likes on this video, that would be awesome. Because uh, the par 3 contest, I think we hit nearly 250 or something like that. So for the for round one of the Masters, come on. Give it to me, baby. Give me 300. Let's jump in. Let's do this thing. I'm excited. Glad you could join us here on the TGC. Time for the Major. This is a Major Championship as well in the Society. So I'm ready. We have our first golfer on the tee. Let's get down and see what happens. Let's go. The Masters Championship, boy. I wish we were watching it in real life today as well as playing it on the golf club, guys. I really do. I forgot I need to turn my light on. Just so the lighting for my face cam should be a little better. But here we go. Let's pummel one up next to this bunker here. And there we go. Really? I hit it that fast? Nerves out of the system. No way. There's no way. Stay in the fairway. <clears throat> okay. We got away with it. And We're going to have to hit a draw like here, but we got away with it. Setting up this shot below the hole. This is going to be difficult, man. Jesus. The 224 is going to be too much here, like 100%. This probably won't be enough is the only thing. Dang it. Up, uh, maybe the 224 won't be too much with 8 mile an hour winds into us as well. Maybe this will actually be good. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit a little bit of a draw. A little bit of a high draw here to try and... Take away some of that, um, some of that lie shooting off to the right. That was a good shot. The hybrid here. Looks like oh, it is too far. Be a bit too much club on yeah, this one. too much club. Okay. See, I thought maybe with the wind and the uphill nature of the shot that it might yeah, that's not what you want just be approach. okay, but no, it's too much. Too and much we're struggling on, on the first hole here, people. We do not want to be struggling on the first hole. That's a fact, Johnny. This is nicked good, my friends. We need to get this up and down, get a par, and run to the next tee. Okay, it's a flop. It's five foot up. I have a good bit of loft on this. Should hit it. Oh, no. I hit it fast. That's going all the way down. Oh. Ooh, it actually held on. It had a good bit of spin on it. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay, hang on. Come on, we got to make this par. Get in, get in. Yes, that's a clutch par save right there, baby. That's a clutch par save. And starting today's a par at the first isn't the worst. That's a really difficult hole. I'll take that all day. My Irish brethren below me and my Norwegian brethren above me. I love to see it. I'm excited for this for some reason. Like, I'm really excited to play this. I don't know why, but we have to birdie this hole. This is a must. I could actually hit this fast on purpose, maybe. Yeah, there you go. There Perfect. Was some serious power involved. In Perfect. That is just a beastly drive. Get all the way down there, baby. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Don't stop on the hill. 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 Keep going. 
It's gonna be slightly... I think... Ball will be slightly below our feet still. Maybe not, actually. And hitting from 195 yards nah, out. Nah, but we're, it's, we're still on the down slope, obviously, but... I don't think it's too bad. Okay, so I'm gonna have to aim for the center here. And play a little bit of a draw. I think I could hit the 172, to be quite perfectly honest. Alright, fuck it. Let's go for it. Looks like a seven. Ah, uh, I hit it fast. Uh oh, this is looking not good. Damn it! It would have been good if it wasn't fast. Yeah, I was think. Unfortunate. I really think that would have been like perfect distance-wise as well. I'm gonna chip this though, like 100%. I think that would have been good, man. I really do. This is not a good lie though. Not a good lie. We are plugged. It's a good shot. Sit down. Sit down. No, 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 sit down. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? How does that go so far? Good it lord, it's impossible to stop that. Come on, we need another good putt. That's some bullshit, man. I'm upset. First of all, we were unlucky to hit the... Well, we weren't unlucky to hit the 7-9 fast, but we were unlucky to plug in the bunker like that. That was not a good lie at all. Which means it's hard to get stop on the bunker shot, but let's worry about the putt now. The only important shot is the next one. pushed it I pushed the putt I pushed the putt damn it Ooh, wouldn't that have been nice just just didn't draw and that is a disappointing par all right we need to start okay, we need to start getting uh, getting our shit together here guys board. we need to start getting our swing in order we need to start getting our chips in order we need to start getting our putting in order and um, because that's just not good enough a par there is not good enough especially from where we were we had a seven iron coming in for our second shot and we only end up with a par that is just simply not good enough. I know Augusta's difficult, but that's simply not good enough. That was good. I'm hitting it fast, though, every single time now. I don't know why, but I'm hitting every single shot fast at the moment. So, we need to be aware of that. This will be a pitch, I think. Should be a pitch. Yeah, 56. This should be perfect, actually. Maybe not that much loft because that is into the wind and uphill. Yeah, not that much loft, but it's a chance. I think you'll like it's going to be an uphill putt as well, so it's a chance for sure. Come on, baby. We need our first birdie of the day right here. Turn for me. No! Oh my goodness, that was close. We overhit it a little bit. And for the Damn time. it. If I was going to go with that much pace, I shouldn't have gone with that much break. And another par. These are those two holes, like, you should be birdieing at least one of those two. On two and three. Okay. They're not Very difficult not holes. Hole. And this next shot is setting up above the hole. So All right, and now we have a tough hole, though. So if we get away with a par here, it's not the end of the world, because this is a difficult hole, 100%. Uh, I'm going to hit the 224. Oh, hopefully, this will be enough to get over the bunker. I think it just about will. Looks like the uh, hybrid is on display here. Maybe it's not, and, actually. Uh, might be going in the sand here. Yeah, it's not at all. Wow. It's not even close to enough to get over the bunker. Wow! How'd that only... Mm -hmm. Okay. How'd that only carry, like, 217 or some shit? I was hitting a 224 club. I, I know the wind was into us, but it was like 20, 30 foot down, wasn't it? It's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy, man. I don't know why I'm aiming over there. That's a good shot out of the bunker there. And if we can get the par here, I'll run to the next tee. As I said, I would have taken a par yeah, on the nice tee box. Shot we don't want to go over par early. Nicely for par. Yes. Okay. That's a good par. Come on! Four pars to start off our round. It's not ideal, but it's not the worst either. This guy, McCluskey, is having a round, man. Six under through seven holes. Good lord, McCluskey. You're going off. You're going off, brother. 
All right, let's try and get into that tie for second with the other two. They're two under. And the wind could come into play on this one. I know some others have had some issues. We'll try to be the best of the rest. Shot. McCluskey oh. has the top spot wrapped up right now. Maybe he'll have a shocker coming in or something. But right now he has the top spot locked up. So we'll try to be the best of the rest for now. That was good. That was real good. That was perfection. All right. Now. Now I've got my rhythm. I got my mojo back. I got my swagger back, son. Let's go. By the way, this is the Apex shirt to have under my jumper right now. If you want to buy one. Link in the description. They're fire. This is the flower design. I also have the 100k design, but... Okay, this is going to be too much. The 136 is going to be too much, but, like, I can't afford to hit the 122. So I'm going to have to hit the 136 with a decent amount of loft. And hope that that stops up in time. Oh, I hit it fast. Really? I think I had too much loft on it anyway. Ooh, that gets a good kick. That gets a really nice kick. Stay there. Okay. Now we and have a chance for a birdie. Sure he's gonna like that. And this for the birdie. Okay. Come on, baby. Turn for me. Just missing here. Oh. That is just cruel. In about four feet. That the is top. just cruel. I thought that was in for sure. Wow. Will drop. That's a little unlucky, honestly. It's a it little unlucky. I thought that one was going to nestle in the cup. After that one. But and not to be. It's five pars six. in a row. It's solid stuff, but it's also not good enough. So we need to be better. Three. Come on. It's birdie the sixth there. The par three sixth. Alright. If I'm aiming for top 25, I'm gonna need to be better than this, boys. Okay. That can be too much? Yeah, I feel like it will. Oh, I hit it fast, man. Seven iron on this one. It's actually okay. If it gets a kick right, maybe, instead of left. No, it went left. So that wasn't enough. I should have hit the 183. I was thinking maybe that, that the 172 would be a little short. But I hit it fast, and it was still a good bit short, so... We definitely should have gone with the 183. Okay, so this breaks left the entire way. It's not like a major amount, and it's uphill the entire way as well, so... I need to hit this hard, firm. And hopefully it breaks in. No, Ooh, and just, it just is a little away. too hard. A little too hard, and we can't make a thing right now. We can't make a putt. The this only putt, putt we made was on the first hole, which par. which was for a par. <laughs> but we haven't made a thing since. Nice we need to be better, man. We need to be doing better. Hole hasn't Can I just get one birdie? I feel like if I get a birdie, the floodgates will open a little bit. But I'm just kind of on a par streak right now, and I need to end it. This is a tough hole to end it on, but why not? Why not, eh? That's perfect. I know it's a little fast, but that's going to be perfect. Into the fairway. And it's going to be over 300 easy. It's going to be like 330, I would say. Not quite, but 325 ain't bad. Down the left side of the fairway. Let's see how this one goes. We got a gap wedge coming in. Below the hole. Ooh, I don't know if that's enough, man. I don't know if that's enough. Shit. Okay, so the wind is with us. But I feel like the... Hmm. I'm going to put some D-loft on this, is what I'm going to do. A little bit of D-loft on the gap wedge, I think, will work. Ooh. I just pushed it a little. It was actually good for distance, but I pushed it. Dang it. It would actually... Be, it would have been perfect be if, I, if I had hit it straight, I think. 20 feet. And now we have this little awkward thing in the middle, man. This little awkward thing in the middle. It's very awkward, man. Get in. Get in, you bitch. No! Ah! Another par, guys! Seven bars in a row! 
They call me the par master. Damn it. Come on. We need it. We need it. We need to get a birdie. Damn it. <laughs> How have we not got one birdie yet? Come on. Okay. This is the hole to get a birdie on, guys. Par five. 550. It's not going to be very reachable in two, but at the same time, it should be easy to get a birdie. Because this. I remember this green is quite e Oh, fuck me. Are you joking me? How am I hitting every shot so fast? I don't get it. I don't get why I'm hitting every Probably shot so fast. Like, with his performance there. Oh my god, I'm getting annoyed now. We, we, we wouldn't have reached anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. But we would, have, we would have been in a better position. That's a good shot. Alright. Now, up and down, birdie. Let's get the hell out. If I don't get a birdie on this hole, guys, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to lose it. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna freak out if I don't get a birdie here. It's, it's probably gonna be a pitch. I don't think this is a flop. Oh, it's... Uh, I think it's better to maybe try and flop this than to try and pitch it, though. Is the thing, because pitch would be 57 yards. Fuck, I don't know, actually. I could have put a good amount of D-loft on this bad boy. Kick in from that. Kick in from that side. Oh, yeah. Go on. Keep going. It's not perfect, but it's a good shot. And it should be. It should be our first birdie of the day. Oh, it's actually not that easy. Yes! Come on! It's our first birdie of the day. <laughs> I'm celebrating our first birdie like I, like I just won the tournament, to be honest. But... It's good to get, well, once you get one, like, I feel like it's a lot easier to, uh, to get a couple more. A lot of Australians playing at the moment, I'm guessing, because, uh, because of the time over there. All right, this is a good hole. I like this hole. I like this hole a lot. That was a perfect strike, too, so that's going to be right down there. And, uh, is it on the top tier? I, th I think it's middle. Looks like it's right in the middle of the green there, from what I could see. 342, middle of the fairway. From 130 yards. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, buddy. Four mile an hour wins. Oh, I don't like the lie we have right now. Shit. I don't like this. I knew I'd hit it fast, man. It's actually okay, though. No, it's not going to be long. It's going to come back down off that hill. Come on, come back down. Come back down, baby. It's not awful. It's not awful. It's a good shot. It's a solid shot. I hit it fast, but it worked out okay. Is it ended up going a little bit further and stopping up? From 14 feet. Ooh, that's a fucking tough putt. Jeez, man. This is not nice. This is not nice at all. Good lord. This green, I remember it always being difficult, though. Stay up, stay up, stay up! Yes, come on! I told you once we get one, we're gonna get two, and we're gonna get three, and we're gonna get four in a row! No, I need to relax. Let's just stay calm, and let's, uh, that's a good way to finish the front nine, though. A really good way to finish the front nine. Two birdies in a row, our first two birdies of the day. We're two under, and now we can start to attack the back nine, start to work, and do better. That's a beauty. Curved around the trees. That's going to kick left and go way down. Watch this. Big kick. Yep. There you go. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. 365 yards, perhaps? 364. We'll take it. I think you'll like that. Yeah, about 364. Like yards to the pin. Nice little gap wedge here. Wind is with us. It's downhill. Um, to your, okay, I'm going to put a little bit of loft on this. Ooh, it's actually not a nice lie. The fairways, like, fuck you up, because you feel like you're in a really good position. But then, look at that. Like, that's just not very nice. See, it didn't really cut in that much, then. I think this might be a bit long. And really? It's that long? Like, I put a good bit of loft on that. It's difficult on this course, like man. Because, like, even when you're in a really good position, the shots are still very difficult. 
The shots are still really difficult because of the lies and because of the undulations, because of everything. It just makes these shots difficult. Okay. So, it's going to be a big breaker, of course. Um, okay, let's do this. Definitely not staying up, is it? Ooh, so fucking hell, that's way nice. too hard. Oh, no. We do not want to give away the two We're birdies hard. that we just made with a three putt here, man. Come on. How did that go so far? It was uphill. I know it wasn't too far uphill, but it was still uphill. I feel like I might have played for a bit too much break there. Oh, never mind. Not enough. Jesus Christ. And that is a three putt bogey. Right after making two birdies in a row, we have a PBFU. A PBFU to start the back nine. That's our first bogey of the day. And of course, at Augusta, it was going to be a three putt. These greens are like fucking dynamite, man. They're so fast. Everything is so difficult about these greens. So that one especially, though, like... I don't know. That was just my own fault, really. I hit the first putt so hard, I guess. Annoying, though. Okay, now it's annoying. Moving on to the 11th. Okay, 513 yard par. Oh, yeah, this one with the water. Okay. It's a good rendition of uh, Augusta, I must say. Firethorn National. Fair play. Yeah, I think this one's going to find the fairway. Yeah, that's just perfect. All right, can we make a birdie on this hole? This is a tough hole. But it would be a good birdie, for sure. It'd be a good birdie, for sure. Okay, and from 180 yards out. Ooh, okay. All right, then. Hmm. 160, I feel like, won't be enough, right? I'll put a decent amount of loft on the 172. How? Like Dude, I'm getting so mad with hitting it fast. So like, I'm specifically avoiding trying to hit it fast, and I'm still hitting it fast. Why am I hitting everything fast, man? No, it's so annoying. That's, uh, that'll work. Nowhere near enough break, anyway. And way too hard. Are you joking me? Ooh, and it just misses. Okay, I'm gonna make back-to-back -back bogeys just after making back-to-back -back birdies. Sweet. Right. Two three putts. Well, this isn't even gonna be a fucking three putt because I'm chipping it now. What was? How did that go so far? That was like 56 foot, was it not? And it was uphill. I didn't even think it was possible to go that far past on on a putt like that. If I'm being perfectly honest, that's crazy. One, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Damn it! Such a really good effort. These greens are just so hard, man. And about five feet to go here. Another three putt bogey. We give away our two birdies. Straight away. Literally straight away. <laughs> we would make seven pars in a row, and then we go birdie, birdie, bogey, bogey. Like, what's the fucking odds? Okay, moving on to the 12th. Typical, really. And now we're about to do a Jordan Spieth here and make an eight. Because I just don't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> uh, God damn it. That's so annoying, really. Going with the nine iron. That was a good strike. No, I think this might be a bit long. Really? I'm getting so confused with these distances, man. Ah, poor luck on that approach shot. Mm. Too much. Clip. I don't know how that was so far. Like that was a 148. It wasn't even that far downhill at all. Like it was 10 foot, and I put a good bit of loft on it. So I don't know. It's weird. I'm tripping. Starting to lose my mojo, I think. Imagine that went straight in. We're, we'd be lucky to make a par here, to be honest. Is needed to save par. And that one will drop. Barely. <laughs> Barely. And he's going to stay right 
where he is, even par after that hole. Even par after he that one. Okay. Tied for fifth place on the leaderboard. Tied for fifth. Four right, under. Let's see what uh, happens. Everyone, uh, everyone above us is at four under. All right, this is just a must. Like, if I don't birdie this one, I might as well pack it in, go home, and uh, rest up for next year's Masters. I'm not even going to play the second round if I don't birdie this. Come on, baby. Let's get an eagle. How about that? How about that? Nah, seriously, though. If I don't birdie this one, I'm trash. Okay, about 185 I'm trash. Like, I'm trash anyway, but I'm extra trash if I don't birdie this. And going with the six iron. Oh, that shot left. Good I'm lord. Quite sure where this one's gonna end up. That would have been really good for distance too. That's depressing. Probably would have been a little long actually still, but it no, ain't I bad. Think they meant to do that on the approach. It ain't terrible. Too much club on that, I think. It ain't terrible. bad. Let's get this to stop up nice and quick. And there you go. That should be a birdie. I'm not gonna say it is a birdie just yet, but it should be. A birdie to get back under par. And it is. Okay. Back under par. <laughs> if we can finish maybe three under, reasonable round, then we we need to have a good second round, good third round, good fourth round, and we'll, we'll see how we go from there. But um, if we can finish reasonably, that's what we need to do. These last five holes is play them in like two, three under. I'm not going to say I'm going to birdie all five or something, because like, that's just not realistic on Augusta. Like, it's just not... <laughs> But uh, we'll try our best. We'll try our best to do that. Why not? Oh no, that's an awful golf shot. That's really truly awful. And he's taking this one through some branches. Guys, why whenever I make a birdie do I fuck up on the next hole? After that one. I either make another birdie or I fuck up on the next hole. Like every single time, it's 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 really crazy. Like I don't get how it continuously happens. Fucking continuously. Oh, you are oh, fucking right me. The, the brush on this one. If I didn't hit that, that actually would have been a decent shot as well. That's the depressing thing. <laughs> I'm going to freak out. I'm going to freak out. It's going to be your fault, and I'm going to freak out. Going with the nine iron here. And Sit down. Sit. The green. Sit down, ball. Look at that kick. That was an awful kick, by the way. Took a big kick forward. It's not the worst shot in the world, and we do have a slim chance to save our par. Is to save par. And we need to do that. Yes! Come on! That's a clutch par save right there, baby! I couldn't see it go in because my head was in the way. My massive fucking head! But we did make the par. Fourth we did make the par. The Let's go. I swear there was three people at four under. Did someone make a triple bogey or something? I swear I saw three people at four under. I could I, I could have sworn there was four people above us, not three. But I don't know. I could be wrong. All right. This is another chance to get another birdie here. Par five down the hill. This is a difficult par five, I must say. Because it's really hard to stop this on the green. Especially if you don't get way down there with the drive, but it's still a birdie chance because even if you go over the back You should be able to get up and down for a birdie All right And about 200 yards to the pin So I'm definitely not hitting that. I don't even think I'm gonna hit that if I'm being honest Ooh, is that risky though? No, it's not it's seven mile an hour winds with us. It's downhill 21 foot. That ain't risky. I hit it fast. And here's the six iron. Probably a good thing I did hit it fast. That's a, a it's a good thing I did hit it fast, honestly. It's not a bad shot now though. It's an eagle putt, but it's not an easy one at all, and that's gonna keep trickling down there. But it's and not that's bad. A pretty inspiring shot just there, hitting this par five green in two definite eagle possibilities. Thirty five foot. Now, I need to be careful, because last time I hit one of these, I hit it, like, over the green. Okay. Nowhere near enough break there. 
Nowhere near enough break there. Nowhere near! This one's about seven feet away. Should still be able to make the birdie, though. And that one goes in for the bird. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god, we are so lucky there. So lucky. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, two under. As I said, if we finish kind of in that three, four under range, we'll be doing good. And this is a nice par three. I like this par three. Classic par three, honestly. The 16th. Right, eight mile an hour winds, uphill. Eight mile an hour winds are kind of helping a little bit, I'd say, but not massive amount, so I'm not going to put any loft on this. And I've hit it just perfect. Come on, wind. Bring that in. Bring that in, wind. No, no, no. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, it didn't bring it in as much as I wanted to at all. I thought that was going to be really good. And Did it end up just being kind of good? Mm, this is difficult. <laughs> this is not an easy putt. Good lord. 17 foot. Up. It's actually uphill. I thought this was going to be a downhiller, but... Okay. Jesus Christ, this is a lot of break. Maybe not that much. Oh, it was that much. Good lord. We very nearly hold that. That would have been a hell of a putt. And about four but um, considering how difficult that putt was, I'll take the par. Why did it seem like that was going to miss for a second? Jesus Christ. <laughs> we'll take the par. We'll take the par. Everybody stay calm, all right? Stay calm. All right, McCluskey finished at 9 under. He was like 9 under through 10 holes or something like okay, that, so... Setting up on the 17th he had a struggle on the back 9. Not really a struggle, but obviously not as good as the front 9. He struggled to stay hot the entire round. Um, all right, let's finish strong. One or two birdies on the last two would be real nice. Yeah, it's a perfect drive. A little fast, right but it's perfect. It's a difficult hole. I'm going to have to probably hit a little bit of a, a draw here, because trees might be in our line. Our line of sight. And from 155 yards out. Maybe not. Maybe not. A little bit. So I'm just going to play out and play a tiny bit of a draw here. Not much of one, but a little one. A little one. I'm going to hit a little bit of D-loft on this bad boy. Going with the 8 iron. I pushed it. I pulled it, rather. A little bit. Kick right. Kick right. No, don't you dare. Are you joking me? There's no... That is an absolutely horrendous bounce. Poor approach shot there. Like, if that had bounced yeah, forward, that would have bounced onto the green, because it would have bounced to the right. Like, that is just depressingly unlucky, if I'm being honest. That is bad luck. Bad luck, Brian, right there. That is depressing, man. I'm not happy about that at all. Stop, stop, stop! Why is it still going? Well, it wasn't actually that, that bad of a bunker very shot, considering... Very much within reach. Come on, we need this. What am I fucking Ooh, doing? Good. I blasted that! Like, why do I do these things sometimes, man? I struggle to comprehend the things that I do. Like, I, I struggle to comprehend them in my own fucking brain, so I don't know how you guys would... Oh my god, like what, why, why, what possessed me to hit it that hard? Like what in God's name possessed me to think that was the reasonable pace to hit that golf ball with the putter? I just don't get it, honestly, I really don't. That was just so brain dead, it's insane. Okay, this one's looking pretty good. No, it's not, it's in the bunker. Setting up significantly below the hole. Hmm. Really? Never knew that. Going with the six iron. I think he might be flying the green here. That's just awful. I don't know. Not Sometimes good I'm good. There. Sometimes maybe shit. Much it's pretty much my golf club career summed up, baby. 
You know what I mean? You know what I fucking mean, mate? It's so annoying. Like, sometimes I'm just awful. Sometimes I'm really good. I feel like I'm on top of the world, but... That's golf, I guess. Such is golf. This is golf. You know this. I'm gonna finish with a par, I hope. I hope. I hope upon prey. But one under is just... Par. Pretty pathetic, honestly. Oh, and it just... I don't believe that's missed. I don't believe that that's missed. I simply don't believe it. That's the worst Tapping level par you'll ever see in your life. With a bogey. That is the worst level par you'll ever see in your life, dude. Like, what is that about, man? What did I have? Four bogeys, four birdies, I think? Twice I had two bogeys in a row. Yeah. Twice I had back-to-back -back bogeys. And that one on the last is just ridiculous, really, to be quite perfectly honest. That is just, like, straight out of the Apex Hound book. The book of how to be a fucking idiot, guys. Seriously. I can't believe it, honestly. Anyway, we'll be back for round two tomorrow if you guys want to see it. Maybe I'll just do a mob video if I'm going to be this shit. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the videos, and uh, I shall see you guys for more of the Golf Club content in the very near future. It's been my pleasure to serve you.